warm welcome to you all over the planet. We are at the ultimate stage, this truly special venue, a venue for the most exclusive and memorable of European club games. It has been a long journey to one of the greatest events in football, the UEFA Champions League final, now just moments away. instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. And we're on the way. As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away. So I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. So what's he planning here? Steered out wide. Is it in? And the weighted pass. Tries a through ball. He's had a shot! Goal! Sevilla! That could turn out to be a big, big goal! perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very... Mkhitaryan! <laughs> out wide to the right. Cut out in the nick of time. Now the pass. He's got options out wide. Mukatarian tries one. And he's found the net. Well, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with. And to find it, I think it was a fine drive. And I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. And 
That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked and uh, I still haven't moved. Whistle's gone and we've reached the halfway point of the final. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. Half time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? Oh, first half that expectations are made of and the final that is ebbing and flowing with two teams that are willing to throw everything they've got at this. It's a treat for me. That's a really interesting game and they head in at half time at 1-1. Whistle goes, we're off and running. Reyes. Makaleli. And it's Mkhitaryan. Dos Santos. Now here's the through ball. It's anyone's ball. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Passes it through. Well, the further he went, the more attention he attracted. There was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away. He's left his man, and a header! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Dos Santos. Reyes, Pereja, just about up to 75 minutes, has a pop! And somehow he managed to miss it. It's a very watchable game, isn't it? Any goal from here could, could well be the winner. Defense has got it, has a hit! Now it's Jonas. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Rapidly approaching the end. Extra time is imminent. Unless something dramatic goes for goal. Knocks it away. Gets wrestled off the ball. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And the finish! It's in! Dying seconds! Champions League final! The winner, surely! The ultimate hero! Name up in lights! Oh look, what a feeling that must be. They've taken their supporters on a roller coaster ride, but ultimately there's something even more satisfying when it's done in this fashion. To come from behind and leave it so so late. Incredible. Perhaps deserves a little bit of And that is it. The referee has seen enough. The date in their history, the pinnacle of their existence. The greatest honour European football has to bestow, winners of the Champions League. So on to centre stage come the central characters, the individuals who as a team blended into champions, and this is their moment. 